Shabbat Shalom. This week's Torah portion brings us into the details of the tabernacle. And where the Torah has thus far not given us really much detail at all and leaves it to the Midrash to fill in all of the the nuance uh, that might be there in the Torah. In fact, the Torah is quite specific in the details of how we build the tabernacle, how we build the ark and the different holy objects that go inside of the tent of meeting. And the idea with all of this is that if we build it correctly, that the tent of meeting, this tabernacle, this holy space is going to be the space where God comes and dwells within the midst of the Israelite people as they journey from this place of the desert all the way through the promised land that God will continue to dwell with the Jewish people as that tabernacle turns into the temple uh, that's built in Jerusalem and all of those kinds of things. One of the lessons we can take from this, uh, uh, you know, the colloquialism is that uh, the devil's in the details, um, or perhaps more aptly for this Torah portion, that God is in the details. But something that I would like us to think about is how we create holy space. That when we create holy space for ourselves, whether it's the sanctity of the home, that we inhabit, or the communities that we build, or the relationships that we inhabit, or the time for Shabbat that we create. All of those things are holy spaces. That when we create those things, we cannot do it just willy-nilly, without thought. That sometimes it takes the details of really planning and setting something aside that is, in fact, the work of making something holy. That when we engage in creating the holiness of a relationship, It's through the little things, the details, the things that go into building that relationship that in fact are the things that make it holy. And when we think about Shabbat in particular, when we want to create what Rabbi Dr. Abraham Joshua Heschel calls a palace in time, right, a holy time, that in order to do that, we must set something aside. We have to prepare for that kind of thing. Now, whether that means you're preparing for a Shabbos meal or you're marking the beginning of Shabbat by coming to synagogue, or even if it's just lighting candles and saying the blessing over wine and maybe some challah in your home, that it's about the fact that you have done something. You have engaged in the details of making time holy, of making space holy, of making relationships holy. You have done those things that is the measure of the holiness that you will get out of them. This Shabbat, may we remember that God, that holiness is in the details and let us prepare and do all the things we need to do to make that holy. Shabbat Shalom.